What is up, what is okay guys, guys and everybody else? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to House of Kate, your boyfriend and we're back with another Tiger and Bunny reaction. We are on season one, episode 18. Um, last episode we had a kind um, centered re uh, movie, uh, <laughs> video, <laughs> sorry, no. <laughs> we had a kind centered uh, episode, basically. Um, well, Kaid was angry at her dad who actually went to visit her the last episode. Um, he went to see her and her family and you know I guess his brother because you know um, he was going through some stuff and he wanted somebody to talk to even though he didn't want to like you know uh, actually admit it and he didn't want to actually talk about it <laughs> for some reason but he did get the, the, the help he, he needed from his brother uh, or at least the advice that he needed from his brother who I truly enjoyed. I truly enjoyed his brother. <laughs> he was very, he was a very interesting character. There. Um, quite opposite from how um, you know Kotetsu is. So yeah. Anyway, so Kyle was angry at her dad. Um, not only because you know he he was he was caught you know going through her stuff and stuff like that, but also I'm guessing because you know um, he is never around basically speaking and she was feeling as if you know the only person that she has is um her grandpa her grandma my bad um when she fell she actually you know freaked out a little bit okay she freaked out a lot and you know she made a very big deal out of it and she was very scared and stuff which was very understandable because you know she was afraid of losing the only person that she feels like she has so there was that um anyway she ended up being stuck um during a thunderstorm and the place that she was was well, going through a lot like trees falling like the ground giving up I was like damn that is yeah that is unstable <laughs> whatever area that thing was built that place is unstable as hell but anyways Kotetsu managed to actually go and rescue her and you know she she saw him be the hero that he is um, mostly to other people so I, I think that changed her uh, her opinion a little bit more and we then found out that you know um, she actually also has superpowers she, also, she is also a next or she is becoming a next I don't know <laughs> but yeah so she, she had been hiding him the powers and stuff like that so very curious to see where that goes um, Kotisu also did say that he is going to uh, retire basically um, I don't think it's gonna happen I think maybe he might take a break maybe for a little bit but I'm, I'm betting that something is going to go wrong in this episode and he's going to have to continue being a hero or something like that. But yeah, anyways, so let's get into the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you do, please leave a like, sub to the channel and leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts were on this episode. And yeah, let's go. Who's in the hospital? What the hell was that? Yeah, Lloyd Sanders. She was out here thinking it's Kotetsu and she got excited. Oh, that was cream. Wow, okay. The hell happened to her hair and stuff? Oh, he's packing up to move. I wonder how <laughs> I'm betting that he hasn't told the others yet. I wonder how uh how um uh, Blue Rose is going to feel about it. I keep forgetting her actual name. The hell. Yeah, I wonder how she's gonna react about it. Heck, I wonder how um you know Bunnaby is gonna react about it. Hmm. Bunny. Oh my he's here practicing. Oh wow. これ、ワイルドタイガーは諸事情により、ヒーローを引退する。ああ、わあ。インフラのビスピクチャーとブロカバイン。ああ。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> <laughs> 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 
Well, people actually miss this dude. Like, hey, that's cool. Look at her acting. You know she's super excited, bro. She's super happy. <laughs> Call her out on her bullshit. <laughs> Every day. Every day. Wow. おお、Breaks the glass, the 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 cup, yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> he definitely might, fam. De, cream to a hanashi dekhi tano ka. Sore ga Jake no shi o shitte yodai ga akka shita so de. Yeah. Now he's not gonna be able to tell him. He's gonna keep waiting for the right moment, which mostly never comes. Down. See, this is what happens when you, you know, alienate people like that and treat her like, treat them like shit. Wow. That, wow. That is so fucked up, bro. Oh. <laughs> and you fell in love with him? I mean, yeah, I can see that happening. I mean, after all the shit that she's going through, I can see that happening for sure. Yeah. Yeah, not even a surprise. Wow, they were probably even happy that she was gone. Wow.
And this is how you get initiated into a cult fam. This right here. I'm actually speechless. I'm like, because her situation is fucked up. Her own parents they didn't want her. They wouldn't even. Oh wow. I would bet that she, she or she or both of them ended up killing them. I would not be surprised if they did. And the thing is, she actually believes all this, you know? その理想郷とやらじゃ。今度は普通の人間がお前と同じ目に遭うんじゃねえのか。迫害されるがわがいれかわるだけじゃねえのかよ。それは当然です。It's like trying to 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 solve the problem of racism by being equally racist。あなたたちと正義ですか。ジェイク。僕の両親を殺したように。ジェイク様の名誉のために教えてあげますわ。what? You did? Not, what the hell happened? I don't know if I should believe her. Wow. So it is a, a, a larger corporation organization. <laughs> Yo, that's a fucked up punishment to give someone, bro. I mean, calling it a punishment is kind of, you know, but that, wow, that's torture. That's tormenting somebody to the extremes, man. So, yeah, he can't tell you that now, bro. <laughs> you can't tell you that now, bro. Hmm. Honestly speaking, I am tempted to believe that she is lying, but again, I'm also like the best lies have a bit of truth. But your memory might be fucked, bro. It's been a long time and you were a kid. But like she said, Ouroboros is a very is bigger than just the two of them. They're just a small part of it. No tattoo, bro. <laughs> bro.
のあの記憶は何なんだ僕が見たあの犯人は何だったんだ That is so fucked up. Now he's seeing all kinds of people. Did someone fuck with his memory? Because that's also a possibility. Damn, this noise. Let me not go down that road. Yeah. The memory of the past has changed many people. That's what I want to say. Have you ever been in a situation like this? そのつもりだったんだけどもうほんといろいろあってさあんたまた楓との約束破るのえ今度ばっかりはフォローできないわよで楓はどうちょっと落ち着いたそうかあの子あんたと同じ能力じゃないみたいなのよ体が磁石になるあああShe just getting put, put stuck, stuck on her, fam. Like, damn. Yeah, that must suck. Wham, right in the head, bro. But he's in a tough spot. Like, honestly speaking, Cottage is in a tough spot right now. Bunny B is going through some shit. He can't just leave him like, like this right now. But again, his daughter is also going through some stuff. He also needs to be there with her. <笑>俺、ワイルドタイガーは諸事情に弱い。わかりました。え、相対ですよね。え、相対？早く娘さんのところへ行ってください。ああ、ブロー、tell him Bro, okay, that is so annoying. Twenty years ago, when that incident happened, where were you? Huh? Eh? That day, Yasuki was not with you, right? Eh, I think that day I was being chased by a wolf. So, if you can prove it, can you prove it? Prove? It's a very old thing. So, you can't prove it. Wait, wait, wait. What is it? What are you talking about? さっき言いましたよね。記憶の中で犯人の顔がいろいろ出てきたって。まあ、その中で彼女が疑ってんのかこの人。Hold up, hold up and think this through。こんな穏やかな。But then again, it is still possible. でも手がかりはこれしかないんです。僕にできるのは記憶に出てきた人をしらみつぶしに当たるしか。そんな曖昧な記憶で人を疑っていいと思ってんのか。お前どうかしてるぞ。あの坊ちゃん、もしもし。ヒーローをやめた方がいいのかもしれない。こんな混乱した状態の中でヒーロを続けていく自信がありません。人は考えさせてください。ブロー、what <笑><笑> How can everything just go to shit like this <laughs> right when he Wow Oh. 
That is, oh, that is dope. That is actually pretty cool. Bro, don't make promises you can't keep. I feel for him. I feel for him. You know, you know, the, it could be that could be a clue right there. Maybe the dude who uh, killed Barnaby's parents was like um, somebody who can also copy people's powers as well. You know, or it could be that you know somebody who could also like shape shift, like the the last dude that forgot his name. Um. So. <sighs> No, but this is tough. This is very tough. Oh, like I was saying, like, the best lies have a little bit of truth in them, fam. Just a little bit. So her going out like that, yo, that's cruel. <laughs> that is cruel. I know it's not funny. Okay, it's kind of a little... It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Um, it's fucked up, actually. It's very fucked up, but damn. <sighs> wow. <laughs> she wins that one fam she wins that one For Barnaby right now, fam. I really do. Cause that is very, very messed up. When you can't even trust your own memories like that. When you can actively see them changing. Or at least know that they're changing. Because you can't see your own memories. But anyways, you know what I mean, right? That is fucked up. I'm like somebody must have messed with his memory some way, somehow. I'm I'm betting right now that what happened was that person killed his Okay, I am betting that that person killed his parents, right? And then also changed his memory some way, somehow. Maybe they have the ability to do that. Maybe he, maybe he got brainwashed. Damn, okay, now I'm suspecting. Oh man, now I'm suspicious. I mean, I know, I know that um, Mr. What's his name? Uh, Mr. Let me check. Mr. Maverick, yeah? I'm suspecting his ass now. I'm back to sus suspecting it. I mean, he's the only one that we know was there that day. I mean, yes, he did. He dropped him off and left. Cool. And yes, he was a good friend of them. But man, okay, like... I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, I mean, if we think about it. Mm, I don't want to, I don't want to suspect Mr. Maverick because he seems so cool. He seems so, he seems like such a good guy, but Ah, right now I'm suspect. Right now I'm in I'm in Barnaby's shoes. Right now I'm suspecting everybody, fam. Everybody's a suspect right now. Okay, maybe apart from um, Kotetsu, because definitely he wasn't there. And I don't think Kotetsu would. <laughs> Come on, fam. If Kotetsu was the oh man, that would be so crazy, and I would not accept that at all. I would not accept it at all. That would be so fucked up. Uh, but <sighs> the nanny, fam, possible. Possible. It could be one of those cases of like, you know, the butler did it, you know, so <laughs> But this time it would be like the nanny did it. I mean, you can't trust nobody. Can't trust nobody right now. Ah, oh, apart from Kotetsu <sighs> Okay, I don't know. Right. I'm really trying to wrap my head around this. I Really am at first. I was like, okay, maybe she's just maybe she's just lying like she's just straight up lying, but nah she she said, "Hey, 
And I am definitely, I'm going to leave you with this truth to, 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 to you know, to defend his honor. Um, what's his name? Um, Jake's owner. He was with me the, time, the day that you, your parents got killed. And that's the same day she got kidnapped. Not like he was just with her. That's the same day she got kidnapped. So he spent the whole day with her, you know, trying to get the money back and whatnot. But then the the, the douchebag parents, they did, they, 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 fuck this parents, fam. Honestly speaking, damn, they didn't even want to save their own daughter's life. Ah, oh, that's, ah, oh, that's, that's, oh. <sighs> anyways, <laughs> anyways, um, um, I'm really trying to figure this thing out, but it's difficult. It's very difficult. Ouroboros is a large organization, like I was thinking from the get-go, but then I was like, over the, the episodes, I was like, okay, then I guess these are the only people who are, you know, an organization, but no, they're actually bigger than them. So I can't wait to see like how big they are. I really can't wait to see how big they are. Um, I'm wondering who is the head of this organization? Cause now it doesn't seem like Jake was Ahead of it now was he plus was he already part of Roboros when he was kidnapping uh, cream mm. curious because it's kind of questionable out here doing like kidnapping jobs like I mean if you're part of that big of an organization uh, aren't you guys supposed to be like uh, concentrating on doing like some world changing stuff like just I'm just curious like when did he join Ouroboros? Why did he join Ouroboros? Hmm, okay. So, oh, man, it's so much. So that means right now, Ouroboros probably, like, Ouroboros itself was not responsible uh, for the murder of his parents. So all this time he's been tracking the wrong person. No, 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 no. Because the person he saw, but then now he can't trust his memory. That's the thing. He can't trust anything he sees. Hmm. This is insane. This is really, really insane, fam. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really trying to wrap my head around it, but I can't. Anyways, I'll, I'll try thinking about it later on throughout the day or you know throughout the days the next coming days um but anyways we'll see we'll see um Kotetsu's situation is very really fucked up honestly um because <laughs> i don't want him to break well he's already broken the promise anyways you know but i kind of really want him to go because like his daughter does really need him right now but then again his friend also really does need him right now like he can't function properly right now he can't trust his own memories you know, now he's suspecting people that have always been there for him. Next thing, he's, he's probably going to even suspect, uh, you know, Mr. Maverick. And, oh, man, that's that's just not good. That's just not good. So I understand him having to stay in this situation. I do. And like I quoted in the beginning, some fucked up shit is probably going to happen. And, you know, he's going to have to stay. And this happened. I mean, that's just bad luck. Like, <laughs> What? Like, of all the dominoes to fall, right? These particular ones? At this particular time? Like, come on, bruh. That's just the universe fucking with you at this point, Meiji. Like, damn. Come on. <laughs> what, this couldn't have happened like a day after you told him you were leaving? Like, after you left? Like, come on, Meiji. Uh, anyways, um, is, but he's in the tough spot. He's in a really tough spot, but I do understand him. Um... I do hope his family does understand him as well because, I mean, he should help his friend out. Um, he is going through some serious stuff. Um, him helping out the daughter is also very important, but I think that could... I want to say that could wait a little bit. Uh, okay, if it was me in this situation, I'm sticking with uh, Barnaby for, for a little bit longer. Up until the end, up until we figure out this case. But then the problem is, this is the problem. We don't know how long it would take to solve this case. Because this, I mean, it's tough. 
it's tough but okay so this is this is what what would happen stick with him for like maybe a couple more days you know help him go through the stuff help him figure things out a little bit um you know figure out like the strategy what are we gonna do then you go home for like maybe a week and then you come back you know and then you continue doing the thing the, the case you see what he has found out etc etc and then you keep doing something like that at least you know um and i'm pretty sure that when he takes the train hmm, i'm betting that it he gets there like on the same day right that's what i'm betting uh high speed train I think he should be able to get there like in a couple hours and stuff like that. So um, it shouldn't it shouldn't be extremely difficult. I mean, it would be difficult, but it's possible. It's possible. I mean, you have to compromise in this situation, fam. You have to compromise in this situation because yeah, both of them really need them right now. So it's tough. It's very tough. Um, but yeah, Cream's Cream's uh, backstory was. Oh wow, I did not expect that. I actually started understanding where she was coming from. Like, I mean, I understand why she went that direction. I truly do. That's the exact same thing that happens over and over again. We know this. We know this. Um, you know, <clears throat> isolate people because of, you know, how different they are from you. You know, uh, treat them differently, treat them like they're not human. Thing you know, you're creating, you know, a whole fucking mass murderer or something you know uh you or you're leading them down a pathway you know they'll end up in a fucking coat you know because like that was exactly how it goes okay let me not say exactly because i've never experienced it you know but um from what i've seen from what i've uh heard you know from the little research that i've done when it comes to you know how coats uh you know are formed and stuff like that this is when this is how uh, you know they they draw people into the the the, the situations for they exploit your the their vulnerability their von their vulnerability god damn <laughs> i've not been able to speak properly this past couple of days i don't know what the hell is going on but yeah um <laughs> they exploit their vulnerabilities like that you know and then next thing you know you're in drop indoctrinated and yeah that's just not right fam treat people right treat people good and the world is automatically a lot lot better a lot lot better you know anyways but her backstory was fucked up fuck the parents they're all douchebags um yeah anyways uh i think that's all i have for you guys in this episode um i hope you enjoyed this reaction if you did just leave a like sub to the channel and leave a comment down below telling me what your thoughts were on this episode and yeah later